Hello all. Welcome to my channel Food Prod Notes. I am Chef Rina Dongre and today we are going to discuss about the physical and chemical changes during baking. There are many changes that happen during baking. But first, let's discuss what is the effect of heat on various constituents. The carbohydrates, those gelatinizes. Carbohydrates is present in flour. Then fat, when it is subjected to heat, it melts. Sugar, once it is subjected to heat, first it melts and later on it caramelizes. Water, it converts into steam when subjected to heat. And proteins, they coagulate, they become firm when they are subjected to heat. First and foremost, the formation of gases and expansion of gases. The gases are primarily responsible for leavening of the baked goods. The gas is carbon dioxide, which is released by the action of yeast as well as by the action of baking powder and baking soda, which is incorporated into doughs and batters during mixing and steam, which is formed during baking. Some of these gases like carbon dioxide is present in the proved bread dough as well as it is also present in sponge cakes and batters because of the mixing. Okay. As these are heated, the gases expand and leave in the product further. Some gases are not formed until heat is applied. Yeast and baking powder form gases rapidly when first placed in the oven, but steam is formed as the moisture of the dough is heated. Gelatinization of starches. The starches absorb moisture, they expand and become firmer. This contributes to the structure of the baked good. Normally, gelatinization of the starch begins at 60 degrees centigrade. Next is trapping of the gases in air cells. As the gases are formed and expand, they are trapped in a stretchable network which is born, being formed by the proteins in the dough. This protein can be gluten or it can be sometimes egg protein. If the gluten or egg protein is not present, then most of the gases would escape and the product would be poorly leavened. That's why the breads without enough gluten development are heavy. Coagulation of proteins is another impact which happens, that is the another effect which happens during baking. Like all the proteins, gluten and egg proteins also coagulate and solidif solidify when they reach high temperatures. This is the process which gives most of the structure to baked goods. Coagulation begins at the temperature of 74 degrees centigrade. That's why Correct baking temperature is extremely important. If the temperature of the oven is too high, the coagulation starts too quickly before the expansion of gases has reached its peak. Similarly, if the temperature is too low, the proteins do not coagulate properly and the product may collapse. Okay. That's why it is very necessary to have the oven at right temperature when the product is put inside the oven. Evaporation of some of the water into steam. This process of conversion of water into steam takes place throughout the baking process. Melting of shortenings. Different shortenings melt and release trapped gases at different temperature. And that's why it is necessary that proper shortening should be used and for the product. So that's why pastry margarine cannot be replaced by cake margarine while making the puff pastry. Crust formation and browning, it happens as the water evaporates from the surface and leaves it dry. Browning occurs when sugars caramelize and starches and sugars undergo certain chemical changes caused by heat. Okay. This browning also contributes to flavor. 
milk, sugar, and egg increase browning of the baked good. Staling. It starts as soon as the product comes out of the oven. Staling affects the texture of the product and hence it is crucial for the bakers to take this into consideration and to delay the staling additives may be added. That's all about the physical and chemical changes that happens during baking. Thank you very much for watching.